Good morning and welcome everybody. Welcome back. Uh, this is your boy Dragothian here and it is really really early in the morning a little after 6 a.m. my time. Got my coffee here. Gotta have the uh, gotta have the John Stark Stark sigil coffee cup. It's been a, a crazy week so I'm still in battle warrior mode. Gotta have that kind of a cup in my uh, in my repertoire ready to rock and roll but Today I'm going to bring you a little bit more of a value, uh, a value video here. So the $100 Springtime Jubilee bundle versus the $100 War Machine or $100 any super value bundle. Why is it so important to take advantage of the limited time offers that we get during these special festivals or special events? Um, I'm going to break them down. I've got them both here saved in my favorites so I can show you what you're getting versus the new stuff uh, versus the uh, super value bundle stuff. So with that in mind, let's start with the war machine. Okay. Great bundle to buy, especially as you get towards the end game where you're leveling up a lot of troops. Troop count is very important in this game. Very important. Um, and then, you know, as you're transitioning from T4 to T5, definitely something that you're going to need to get your hands on as often as possible. That being said, I wanted to break down what you get between the two uh, so that you can kind of make your decision on which way you want to go. If you're going to put a little bit of money into the game right now, Springtime Jubilee is the way to go, and I'm going to show you why. So with War Machine, you get your standard, right? 25,000 gems, 6,000 VIP points, uh, and you get your resources, your speed ups, and you get a little special thing with your army reserves, which allows you to train 20,000 troops at a time plus whatever you can already train. So if you've got a maxed out training building, that's 2,000 plus the 20, which will give you 22,000 training at one time. This is how you win Mightiest Governor uh, because you're able to train a massive amount of troops very quickly versus having to do them one at a time, okay? So with that in mind, let's break down the speed ups, which are the most important part of these bundles. And also let's break down the resources. So speed ups. With the War Machine, and almost all the other super value bundles that are not named resource reserves or living legend, the, the speed ups are roughly the same. So uh, you get 262 hours of speed ups and that's spread across universal and training specific for this bundle. Now, again, for, for the, the Fountain of Wisdom, it's uh, the 24 hour, the 60 minute universal and then the 30 minute times 224 uh, research speed and then the same thing for City of Hope okay but this is for training troops so in this case you're at 262 hours and you also get 61 million 125 thousand resources spread across food wood stone and gold okay very good value for what you're paying but there's a better one and that's where we're gonna go to right now so Springtime Jubilee, yes, you lose the 20,000 Army Reserve, but you gain 380 hours of speed up. So almost a 50% boost, almost a 50% boost in speed ups, and they're universal. Now for me, again, this is going to go straight into troop training. But for somebody else who isn't quite there yet, that can go into buildings, that can go into research. Research is the hardest part to get to T5. Just understand that. You need as many speed ups as you can get. If you're around 12 to 15 million power, it will take you, with full alliance helps, over 700 days. So you need every speed up you can get, or else you're waiting for two years. Just saying. So 380 hours of speed ups, and then the resources, you get 100 million resources. That's nothing to sneeze at. Now again, in my position, food and water are very important. Gold, not so much. I've got tons of it saved up. And then also stone, um, I've got plenty of that saved up. In fact, I've been sending that out to my alliance over the last few days just to help them recover from last week's activities. So again, another another over 50% boost in uh, resources by getting the Springtime Jubilee. That's why you want to get this particular pack over your normal Super Value Bundle packs. One, because you get a ton more, and two, because you can't get this again. 
you're going to have to wait until the next event or the next uh, special thing that they've got coming along, which they tend to do about once a month, once every other month. So this is what I would recommend. Get your Springtime Jubilee bundles. This is a great value for your money. If you're going to be spending into the game, I always recommend getting the most value that you can. Uh, and this is a great way to do that. Uh, let's also go through some things too here. You get green leaves and flower petals on this Jubilee bundle. That goes into, let's see which one it is. <laughs> Uh, this one <laughs> there's so many events this one so as you can see I've already gotten all of the the legendary sculptures that I can get I've also got all of the golden keys that I can get and I've still got 450 flowers and I've got 188 leaves and I'll probably get another couple hundred leaves before this whole thing is done because this event still lasts for another three and a half days so those leaves I'll be putting into, I would say, the resources, right? So you get these resources down here. And, you know, it's not much, but it's something. Because really there's nothing else for me to get. I'm not spending leaves on the, on the, <laughs> on the seven-day option for the skin. It just doesn't make sense to me. Cav health is probably one of the weakest cav traits that you can get. You use cav for attack. Um, if you're going to go for a defensive tanky cav build, which I don't know why, but if you wanted to, you would go for defense. So cav defense would be the way to go. Cav health is just not as good as cav defense or, or anything else that you can get for cav. It also debuffs your infantry. So again, that's direct conflict with what I do with my game. So it doesn't make sense to do it. So the only thing left for me to put my leaves into is these resources. Now, I may because you don't really get that many <laughs> um, resources for a leaf with this exchange I may just keep them until the end of the um, the event to see if maybe I get some gems for them or maybe I'll get some speed ups for them um, if I if I lose out on 400 um, leaves because they don't give me anything for them after the events over I won't really be that bad off. It's basically 400,000 food or 400,000 wood or 200 of each. So not that big of a deal. That's half of a, a node uh, that, I would, um, that I would farm um, on a regular node. So not that big of a deal, but the chance of maybe getting something a little bit better is worth the risk, in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So as far as the petals, I am going to go ahead and get every single speed up I can get. And as you can see... There is no limit. So I'm going to get 450 hours of speed ups with the leftover petals that I got from doing the, uh, the Jubilee purchase. So that equates to roughly 18 to 19 days, I believe, if I did my math correctly. I, again, I'm not driving. I swear to God, I'm not driving. So I need to fix that. I haven't even touched it yet. So I'm going to, I'm going to take care of that later. But 450 hours extra. So in, in all reality... Um, when you purchase the, uh, the the bundle, right, you get 150 petals. So that is 150 extra hours. So you add that on top of you add that on top of the three, 380 hours. So that's another. So total, that's 530 hours that you're getting. That's double what you get from a normal um, 100 dollar purchase pack. So. Keep it in mind, Jubilee, the Springtime Jubilee, that's the one you want to purchase. Um, I would recommend that 100%. That's the best way to go. Uh, and just to catch you guys up as well, Kerouac's over. I've gotten that done. I uh, got that done early. I may actually do this on mm -hmm. my, um, I may actually do this on my alt account as well, just to kind of get it out of the way so that I can get the next level, assuming I'll have some more troops on that. Also, we have Ark of Osiris, just to let you know. That's coming up as well. We'll probably be doing ours sometime Sunday. I've also got at least three or four casts already lined up uh, for your viewing pleasure. So this is going to be great. In fact, um, the ones that I did a couple weeks ago, because we couldn't, I couldn't do any over this last weekend. We were doing our own little mini Ark of Osiris in the real world. Um, I've got some repeats from some really good alliances that had a really solid strategy. Um, in fact, I'm doing one, 
I'm doing two where I casted them together the two weeks ago. So uh, this should be really good. I think we'll be in really good shape uh, doing that. And again, I have already done all three of these with three stars using the trick from the previous video I did yesterday. Uh, I think, let me see. Yeah, number two on the first puzzle, 10 on the second puzzle, and fifth on the third puzzle. And I do have some more, um, I do have some more chances uh, from today. So I may try and boost up my second puzzle so I can get a little bit higher. The rewards aren't that great, but I will always take free gems and speed ups and that's basically what you're getting. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can uh, try my luck and, uh, and get it done. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and do one just because. You guys deserve it. <laughs> All right, so let's try one. I wanna do the second one, right? So you're gonna see me looking down here because I'm on my phone. Um, I'm gonna try it on my phone because the last time on the video that I did yesterday, I did it on my pad. And I feel like I might actually be a little quicker on my phone just because it's a smaller screen. And with the pad, I have a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. So it's, it's a farther way to pull the tiles. So I'm wondering if I'll do better than my personal record of one minute and 10 seconds on the second one. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and get this ball rolling. And again, I'm gonna use the same method. Uh, I did see the one that Shinji just posted today, um, which is very similar to what I did yesterday, but he put all the pieces in one spot. I'm gonna do it like I did it yesterday where if I see an edge tile, I'm gonna drag it there. So that's just less spots where I've got to um, move things around. So that'll have a, a lower amount of tiles that I need to connect with that one spot and it should be faster. So let's, let's give it a try. Okay, so there we go. There we go. This is actually going pretty well. <laughs> I could be doing this a lot faster. I feel like, but yeah, we'll see. All right. And some of this is a little bit of luck. So a little faster, not too bad. I went up a, a smidge. I think um, with a little bit of luck, I could probably get a little closer to a minute. Um, and again, I think the the one I did on the third puzzle here where I got a minute eight uh, or a minute two on the first puzzle, I got really lucky when I was kind of moving things around a bit. Um, it just started locking in really quickly and I was able to move big chunks to the edge and lock the rest of it in. So I was able to get uh, a lot more. So that's your free puzzle challenge for the day. Uh, again, really, really uh, advocate for the, um, for the springtime jubilee uh, option, which I don't have available anymore. And then again, that will also get you your recharge rewards, which are very important if you're looking to level up your commanders. This is a must have uh, for you to level up your legendary commanders because they don't come around very often. We've also got, which was really neat, um, we've also got the game of power event. And right now I'm not ranked that high, I'm only 60, um, but top level is only about 2 million. I'm hoping that a training speed room drops and I'm gonna go through some serious training speed rooms. So with that in mind, I'm gonna leave y'all with that. Thank you again for tuning in, I really appreciate it. Uh, again, looking forward to bringing you some more content. The Sun Tzu video is coming tonight, guys. It's coming tonight. So. Look forward to bringing that to you. I've already got it uh, kind of put together. I just need to put some finishing touches on it uh, and actually cast it. And then uh, we will be in good shape from there. This is your boy Dragothian signing out. I hope you all have a good, good day today. Take care. Enjoy. I'll see you all next time.